I was totally vibing. wants this one, so we're going to do this one. Doesn't it kind of feel like everyone's telling their story right now? Can you guys hear the squirrel? If you can hear the squirrel, give me as many hearts as you can. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, oh. 
Can you guys hear the squirrel? Yeah, you guys can hear him. Yeah, you guys can hear him. So cute. Oh, he's coming down. Or she. Or they. Oh, he's down. Or she. I don't know. Switch it up. What do we need today? What's the deal? <laughs> What's the deal? I just heard the word punk. <laughs> Someone needs to listen to some punk music? That's cool. Oh, heart chakra. Heart chakra. We don't want to neglect the heart chakra. I just heard the sentence, I put my faith in the unknown while life ahead of me is unraveling. Everything I know could be unraveling. I put my, I put my faith. Stop watching, Spirit says. Stop watching. Stop looking. Stop checking in. Stop watching. If I said I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, surprise. Like a birthday. <sighs> um, I just heard we don't need you to trust us. We don't need you to trust us. Why? Because your trust isn't going to make a difference. We're going to do what we're going to do regardless. You don't have to know that you're in good hands to be in good hands. I just heard, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> so weird. I can't. Are you in good hands? That's what I just heard. Are you in good hands? You're in good hands. You don't have to know that you're in good hands to be in good hands. Divinely guided. 
impenetrable, meaning nothing's going to touch you. I heard, I'm hearing um, militia, militia, actually malicious entities, right? So things that are evil, their intention is, is no bueno. You would never know where it's coming from. You would never know where it's coming from. You, you would never know. You would never know. You would never know. Why? Because it's shocking. Could be your own family. Could be your own friends. They, they said, I heard. I heard. I heard before you heard. So knowing that, you put your trust. Oh, wow. This is really coming through. This is heart chakra. Knowing that you put your, you're putting your trust in people, friends, this person, this situation, right? And um, you trust in them, but you're not in good hands with them. You would think, they just said the word regardless, regardless, regardless of what? Regardless of Regardless of the relationship, regardless of the expectation of the relationship, you're not in good hands with them. So if we hear, if we hear, if we hear them, we hear them before you hear them. Okay. If we hear them before you hear them, allow us to move accordingly. Allow us to shift. Allow us to shift you out. Allow, allow us to ease you out. Move out of our way. Move out of our way while we're doing this. You don't have, there's a strong message about, like, you don't have to trust us to know that we're working on your better half, but knowing that trust. Does this make sense, you guys? I don't know what I'm saying right now. If it makes sense, put the hearts up. If not, you're allowed to be quiet and silent. That's fine, too. Totally fine with me. It's totally fine. Friends and I have been exploring gray area lately. The unknown, the weirdness of life, how complex things are. And Spirit says, when it comes to matters of the heart, you did the right thing. When it comes to the matter of the heart, it's one thing in particular. When it comes to the matter of the heart, you did the right thing. And there are some people that are going to want to force that, meaning they're going to want to force that, that they're going to want to force that answer. They're going to want to want, they are going to want it to make sense. They're going to want it to resonate. It's not going to resonate because they didn't do the right thing. The right thing is not so clearly defined. There's no blueprint. The right thing is when spirit tells you this is what you should do even if it looks wrong even if it looks complex even if it looks weird there's a hawk that just literally flew over literally a hawk twice he's right literally right there And as I say that, I'm not afraid of hawks, but there's a sense of danger. And spirits like, if we can see and sense danger before you can see and sense it, realize that you are in good hands and that we are navigating you and rerouting you or hiding you, putting you, making you so that you're invisible, so that the enemy cannot see you. It's so funny that malicious intent was the word that came through when we were working with the heart chakra because not everybody has good will and good intention. I'm in a like I'm actually in a really good place in my life and the fact that this these messages keep coming through it's because there's a lot of conflict right now and as I'm saying it I get so strongly that it's that Neptune and that Neptune and Pisces type of energy right now where something could be really really good and then one minute it can be really really toxic. Knowing that, how could you predict that? How could you know when it's going to be right? How can you know when it's going to be wrong? When it's right and when it's wrong? Yeah. 
Spirit, you were saying something and I interrupted. I'm sorry. They're like, it's okay, Jess. Thanks. Oh, they were saying about when we say that something is right, right? We're going to speak into your... This is a very clear message, my love. They're going to speak into your spirit and tell you when something is right or wrong, right? There's something about this that's like, it's the very opposite of what you think. There's this really strong message that's coming through. It's going to be the opposite of what you think it is, right? So what you would normally not do is the right thing to do. There are going to be other people who are going to be looking at the same situation. They're going to be looking at the same situation. And they're going to try to force, and maybe this is some of you guys, because maybe you're in the wrong by doing the right thing. I don't know. But they're going to be looking at the same situation. They're going to hear this message. They're going to know in their spirit they were wrong. They're going to then, the lesson in that is you're going, you are going to have to learn to confront your own ego. You are going to have to learn how to confront your own ego. I heard the word paralyze, paralysis. Soon as they see aspect of themselves that they're not proud of or that they want to keep, keep, keep hidden, keep away, don't look, don't look this way, don't look this way. But yet you keep drawing attention to it. Yet you're the one that keeps drawing attention to it. You draw attention to it by your chaos. You're contributing chaos into this world. You're telling us not to look at it, but you make it louder and louder by with your chaotic noise. Let's clear that out. It's the root and it's the worth. It's the root, it's the worth, it's the value. The root, the worth, the value. The root, the worth, the value. What is that? I heard zero. That's not true. something to resonate. You can't. No, ma'am. If it's not for you, you're meant to drop it. If it's not for you, you drop it. If it's not for you, you drop it. If it's not for you, you drop it. You walk away. It's not a punishment. It's nothing personal. If it's not for you, you drop it. You walk away. You can't force resonance. You can't force it to resonate. You can't force it to come together. You can't force yourself to accept. You can't force yourself self to accept a truth that's not yours. That's not your truth. So, this one. <laughs> so if you're trying to force and fight, this is for the person that's wrong. If you're trying to force and fight, you have to actually look at what you're fighting. Why are you fighting it so hard? Why? Why? Because I can't accept. Accept what? Accept what? I heard that's your baggage. That's why I had to do what's right for me because that is your baggage. It didn't resonate, so what I was holding on to, I let go of. I freed myself, and that's when I did the right thing. That's when I knew it was the right thing because I freed myself. It might not have seemed right, it might have seemed wrong, but spirit told me to let it go. And when I let it go, it resonates now. This is my truth, and I'm free of it. I did the right thing, Spirit says. You did the right thing. And if it doesn't resonate with your spirit, that's fine, too. That's a very specific message. Spirit said, now that you know, now that you know, now that you know, this chapter is complete. Now that you know this chapter is complete and a cycle, now we can begin a new cycle. What do you want that to look like? 
say that with me. What do I want this to now look like? Even the person that's in the wrong, even the person that's in the wrong, you're given an opportunity to ask yourself, what do I want this to look like? You're gonna have to confront. You're gonna have to confront. You're gonna confront your ego once again and you're gonna let go of really what doesn't resonate with you. There's this image, it's a lie, it's a fallacy. Why? Because once I do this, once I gain this, once I end this, I'm going to be this. That's not true. That's actually not true. I know, I heard, I know Jess, but this is your sp someone's spirit saying this. I know Jess, but it's, it's so, like, I need it. Like, there's so much worth in this for me to accept this. Because there's a part of me that needs to hear it. There's a part of me that has a void. There's a part of me that's empty here. And so I, woo, I plug up, I plug it up, that space, I plug it up with this thing, with this belief, with what this represents, with what, and that's when you get unstable. That's when it gets unstabilized and the boat starts to really rock and ship, shift. Oh my goodness, you guys, there is a red cardinal. Can someone look up the red cardinal and put it in animal totem? Literally, red cardinal. That's that's a clear message right now. Oh, goodness. It's the root chakra. There's this, like, message of root chakra and empowering that, breathing life back into the root chakra. It's the same thing that was stolen from you, that was taken from you. It was an accident. This is something from childhood or from really intimate relationships, intimacy. So it's the spot that it's like you're supposed to be safe in order to share, in order to express, but someone, somewhere, something happened that violated that trust and now there's abandonment and there's a wound there. So now it's like, this is why I need to hear it. This is why I need to know it. This is why I have to find all of these different ways to relive it, whatever it is. You're not being punished, but you're giving an opportunity to do different, to see it, but you don't, if that's truly the case, don't look at it through the lens of your ego. chakra is definitely tingling tingling right now it's such a release of like like 
our self-worth, our self-value, what we contribute, what we allow ourselves to receive. And when those things get on, off balance, they either tighten up or they overflow. And we talk about that in the Sacred Circle Tarot School. We gotta talk about love. I heard the word impermeant. Impermanent, impermanent, impermeance, impermeant. which is meant to evolve, that which is meant to flow, that which, that which is meant to be free, free-flowing, lucid. I heard misunderstood, misdiagnosed. Jeez. Misunderstood, misdiagnosed. Were you? No judgment, but real question. 
Once you get to do that, once you get it moving, and it's not just in this relationship, it's or it's not just in the situation, it's all the situations, get it out. Because when you get it out, it's gonna start making more sense. There's this also thing, it's like, it's not meant to be perfect, it's going to be messy, but what's good is that you got the mess out. When you're doing that, doing it in a way that is healthy and abundant, like I'm also getting a garden. You're like sprinkle, it's like wildflower seeds. The more that you get it out, the more that the seeds are sprinkled, it's a wildflower. Then there's tears, tears, tears. And guess what? Three weeks later, you have a whole ass wildflower garden with butterflies and bugs and bees and birds. All of the bees. Spirit says, and wasn't that beautiful? I also heard the word, you are so capable, you're capable, you are capable, you are capable. I heard the new moon, that's what you need to be setting intentions for, is your understanding of your capacity and your capability, but it's like your capacity. Some of you guys feel like I've taken on all that I can, I've take, there's this like thing, I keep seeing this, someone pushing all this onto their plate. This is what I'm capable of. See what it is I'm doing, see, see, see? Look at what I've done, look at what I'm doing. Look, 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 I'm putting all this onto my plate. And Spirit's like, what are you doing that for? It doesn't make any sense. You're, there's something about capacity and capability. Those two are not, and what you're putting on your plate, they're separate things. They're not meant to intertwine. that's normal what if it's normal to be rejected at the same time you have the power to reject hmm. don't take it personally don't take it personal I just want to be all alone don't thank God you too oh just one of those days that a girl goes through <laughs> It's the feminine, it's very moody. <laughs> That's not just women, it's men too, it's all of us, all human beings. Cause you wanna know why? We're working with feminine and masculine. Ah, it can be so disordered sometimes. Do you know how hard it is to maintain balance? I do. But I strive for it. That's okay. The heart, man, it's the heart. It's the heart chakra.
really quiet. It's a really quiet voice. It's really sweet. If someone's facing that right now, or maybe we're all facing it in some way. What if they don't like me? It's like, it's okay, I like you. I like you a lot. Like, <laughs> I like you a whole lot. It's not even like love. Like, I love and I like you. I'm not, I just heard, what if I'm not good enough? What if it's not good enough? Confirmed, you guys, the squirrel is a dude. This is TMI, but I just saw his net sign. Ooh. It's definitely a dude. Good to know, buddy. Oh, look, there's two! What if it's not the same? It's not, it's not the same scroll. He literally came from that direction. Emphasis on the word he, it's a dude. I've never seen two squirrels. Oh my gosh, you guys. Two squirrels for sure. <laughs> Me again. <laughs> hey, it's Franklin. Oh my god. I'm in my 30s, but you can't tell. Or maybe you can. Is this what it's like being in your 30s? Everything gets self tight. Shout out to yoga. Shout out to my strippers out there. My strippers and my dancers. You guys are so loved. So much strength, man. So much strength in your body. Any type of customer service, man. Anybody who's in customer service and dealing with people. But the more intimate, man, God bless you. Good for you. It's such an important service intimacy you know like connection communication attention shout out to my strippers we don't give them enough credit no ma'am we don't give them enough Ugh. Even if you 
don't get a smile back, like spirit smiles on you. That is everything. Shout out to you guys. Mm. So much strength, man. It's core strength. Look, as I say that, a butterfly. Hopefully it comes this way. But it's literally the same color I just was talking about. I'm also getting like apples, very juicy fruits, music, singing, like singing, a lot of singing, creative, creativity, joy, giving joy, like giving dance in such a beautiful way, flowing. Shout out to my strippers. People who work like front desk at the hotel, always smiling, taking the next person. You know how hard it is? It's this energy of making other people feel very comfortable and welcomed in a space where they're a stranger. Think about that process that that's what you give to this world. That's what you give to this earth. The ability to make a stranger feel completely comfortable in the most vulnerable states. Shout out, like, wow. That is so impressive. Respect. Respect. <sighs> Those who like greet people, like welcome. Like what? Bless you. All right, guys. I'm gonna close this out because I'm gonna go kayaking think. Let's close each one of them out. Shall we? If you guys want to make a wish, make it now. One for yourself and one for the other. Whoever the other is. selfish. Get selfish. This is your time to be a little selfish. Nothing wrong with that. Selfish Saturdays. <laughs> nice try. Suckers. Anybody who tries to suck energy? Nope. Nice try. Chakra, last one, heart chakra. There's this reminder.
reminder about what's right or wrong. Spirit wants to circle back. That's fine. There's this message about what's right or wrong and this idea of justice. No. <laughs> Spirit says, we invite you unexpectedly to look into what is right and what is wrong in your life right now. And if it feels poisonous, trust and believe it is. Male, female, however you identify, you are goddess and God, reincarnated, living in this human body, having the weirdest experience of our lives, especially in this time in history. Having said that, there's a whole lot of gray area. It's meant to be chaotic, disorganized, and weird as fuck. Having said that, there's a lot of beauty in that. We don't want you to forget the beauty in all of that. If you internalize it, if you take it personally, the heart is going to feel abandoned. You've never been abandoned. That's why you want to look at what's right and what's wrong and do what's right for what, what works for you. You guys see this flower? That's a good one. Spirit invites you in order to just 